They whipped our asses six ways from Sunday. So I don't know what else to say other than that. Can't block, can't tackle. Not to win many games. Coach, you, you got off to a good start with the fumble recovery and the touchdown, but then uh, Tulane scored three times in a row. What, what, was, what was it tough on defense to stop Tulane in, the, in that first quarter? We couldn't tackle. We, we set an all-time record for missed tackles in the first two drives. I mean, we had six or seven missed tackles in the first two drives alone. Couldn't tackle him. But a lot of times we had him stopped and he just wiggled his way out and off he went. Very poor technique and fundamentals. Very poor. We looked very poorly coached. They just had their way with us, whatever they wanted to do. They had their whole playbook. They could just pull out their play sheet and say, hey, we hadn't run this in a while. Let, let's, let's give this a shot. They could do whatever they wanted. Uh, Coach, the decision to go for two after the Jamari Moore touchdown, is that something that you regretted at all? Nope. The analytics told us to go for it. go for two on the first one, told us to go for two on the second one. And I go by the analytics. And if I, if I try to say, well, I don't believe in the analytics on this one, but I'll take the analytics on that one, we wouldn't have been 31 or 36 on fourth down last year. So that's what we do. And it, there's, a, there's a smaller percentage that we're going to make two there. But to score, if we don't, if we, if we get two, we put ourselves with the opportunity, if we score, we kick an extra point to win the game at the very end. The percentage goes way down if you're trying to score two to win the game on the last play. And so we tried to get two on the first one, and the second one, and I even asked, I said, we'd go down by eight if we kick it. And it said, analytics says go for two, down by nine. It's a not a recommendation. It's a go for it, and uh, so that's that's what we did, and I believe in it, and I, I do it again because it's what it tells us to do. And then, coach, you uh, the offense punted several times early in the in the first quarter after the first touchdown, but then you got the offense to run a complete drive towards in the second quarter, and then starting in the third quarter. What did you change? Uh, that made the offense effective? We sustained blocks a little better on those drives. And uh, we had a difficult time doing that all day. And so we were hit or miss on, on uh, one, protecting our quarterback, and two, opening the seams for our guys to run the football. The perimeter game was not very good at all. We missed some blocks on the perimeter and got strung out and guys got through. I mean, we, we got people accounted for them. They either didn't block them when they were supposed to, or they didn't sustain the block or use good fundamentals to keep them out of there. So, again, we got to do a better job of preparing them and coaching them so that they do those things well. And we've got to perform, and we've got to do the job and what we're supposed to do with great fundamentals. We didn't do that. Yeah. Coach, for you guys, especially when it was a close game, were there any particular plays or maybe series of plays that maybe you – in terms of just the execution, maybe the play calling that you sort of regretted, or do you feel like just the feelings that it's really just about the effort as a whole? No, I don't, I don't know that there's any regrets. I mean, we can second guess it and say, well, they had this defensive call. This would have been a better, uh, this would have been a better play against that defensive call, but I'm not on their headsets, so I don't know exactly what they're going to be running on defense. So, you know, we had a lot of different formations and felt like we, we had some good things, and the bottom line is, you got to block them. If you block people and keep them blocked, it's really hard for them to tackle you. And when they get off of blocks, they whip a block and beat you, and they tackle you, then good for them. I mean, they made some plays. They got a really good football team, a physical team, a well-coached team, athletic team. And, and like I said, they whipped us. Trust you guys. Starting off the first of the seven game stretch, in terms of just the next couple of days and moving forward and trying to build off of some of the things you might have wanted to have changed, is there, is, is there any sort of way or focus to get the team back into that focus mode for, for next week against Western Kentucky? Our guys are focused, and I can promise you I'm focused. And there's, the only thing we got to do better is block and tackle. It's not play calling, it's not it. Every play will work if you block people. Every defense will stop them if you'll get off a block and tackle. 
It's not, it's not like we got bad calls or, oh my God, you know, we, all of a sudden we're doing something completely different. They rushed for 324 and we rushed for 193. We're a running football team. We got to run for more yards than that. And if we're going to play good on defense, we can't give up 324 yards rushing. So that's what we got to do. Run the ball and stop the run. That's, that's what we build our, our plan, our philosophy as a program is to do those two things. We didn't do them today. You know what? A lot of it had to do with them. They're a pretty good team. And like I said, they, they did a good job blocking us and they did a good job of getting off of blocks and we did a poor job with, with our fundamentals. Coach, um, I know it was nice to have Kevin Hopkins back in the lineup. Um, he passed it a, t- a ton today. Is that something you knew you had to do coming into this game was throw the ball on? No. We thought we'd have to run the ball. And I think if you look historically at our teams, at least since I've been the coach here, if, if we're throwing the ball a whole bunch, it's usually not good. And if we're throwing the ball a whole bunch because we're winning by a bunch, and that means we've probably got 300 and some yards rushing, and we're doing it because they're just everybody's just pouring in there on the run, and we feel like we can protect the quarterback, and we're whipping their butts. That's not what we do. And so it, he was running for his life enough today for, I think, everybody to, to figure it out. You come to practice every day. I mean, if, if, if we're going to have to throw the ball, we're going to be in trouble. we got to run the ball effectively. That's what we do. And by running the ball effectively, that should then open up some opportunities for play-action passes for, for us to be able to complete those. He completed some passes, certainly down the stretch, but they're playing back and trying to keep everybody in front of them and just try not to give up a touchdown. And uh, it's, it's a whole different philosophy at that point defensively than it is in the first quarter. So we hit some pass plays. We thought there would be some play actions that, that uh, we could get some guys open on, and we did. Uh, we had a guy running scot free wide open, and you know, they rushed a guy off the backside that we couldn't account for. So you know, it's hard to, uh, it, 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 it's hard to you know, do everything, be a good running team and be a, you know, a drop-dead passing team. And, and you know, we got a bunch of guys that try their hardest, and they're tough, and they they play really hard, but you know what? They had some really good athletes, and they did a good job when they had to rush the passer, making it really tough on on our guys. And uh, so, hey, it's uh, you know I'm, I'm glad we hit some passes because it, it set up some some scores for us, and we made some plays doing it. But what we're gonna make our hay is running the ball. Any more questions, Ken? Just going to ask about the sequence of the fourth quarter. Ortiz has a nice kickoff return, 45 yards, and then you get into a third and six, and, and uh, he, he gets the ball, and he's running left hops, and he gets tackled by the linebacker, Graham, for a five-yard loss. Um, and then you did a reverse uh, on fourth and 11. It didn't work. Tried well, to throw a reverse pass. What happened on, on the third and five? It seemed like that linebacker was, was unblocked and just really broke up the play. I, I don't know if he was unblocked or not. Uh, he shouldn't have been. We, we've got somebody to account for him. But I didn't see the where he came from. And uh, at that point, we were going fast. And uh, I didn't look up to watch the, the replay if there even was one. I'll look on the, I'll look on the film. But uh, you know, we had, we had a, another block that we had a guy that was, was accounted for. He was blocking him, and he got off the block. So even, even the one where we had the lost yardage play, Hobbs made him miss. He ran out of the tackle. We just didn't have anything things sustained outside of that. It's hard to sustain those blocks that long. But I'm sure we had somebody for him and accounted for him, and he might have just run right through somebody's headgear. I don't know. You said that uh, you guys struggled blocking all day. Uh, your offensive line's relatively healthy. Is there changes that you think need to be made to that side of the ball? Block better. Maybe play guys that aren't as athletic. I don't know. I can assure you, there ain't a guy on that team that, I mean, they got smart guys at their school, and we've had this conversation before. You know, it's, yes, those guys who trade places and wear a uniform every day and go into the Army after they get done, they, they, 
they'd give you a high sign. You know what? They got athletic guys, really good guys, really good players. I'm not saying we don't have good football players. Those guys can play. They're fast and athletic. And so when somebody's bigger and longer and faster and more athletic, you better play really, really, really well with great fundamentals. Every single play, if he's not going to beat you. Because physical superiority cancels all theory. And you know what? Our guys are trying their butts off. And we can play better. We can do better. But you know what? They're tough and they're athletic and they're fast and they just whipped us sometimes. And that's just the way it goes. Any more questions? All right. Thank you, Coach.